ages. What are you doing here? Here, have a seat. Have a seat. Okay, sure. <laughs> God, how long has it been? Uh, if I'm counting right, what, 13 years? What are you doing in Eureka? Oh, I just moved. I moved back here. Uh, from the city. Uh, you're the last person I expected to see in Humboldt County. Yeah, I know. So you got sick of San Francisco, huh? You could say that. I can't believe it. I mean, you said you hated this place when you left. Only some things change. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Why? You know. <laughs> Shit, isn't this a surprise, huh? You want a sandwich or something? Um, nah, I should go. But I am kind of thirsty. Yeah, <laughs> sure you are. That's right. Doesn't look like you've been eating very well. How about some fish and chips? I could really use a drink. Oh, they got beer here. Red nectar. Sounds good. All right, fish and chips and a beer at your service. You got sick of the city, huh? Why? You've heard the expression, each man kills the thing he loves? Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard you had a lover. He's dead. And I'm responsible. Don't tell me you got it. it. Well, let's put it this way. I've decided to take care of the things I don't love. You know anything about registering a gun? Honey, would you get that, please? I just can't stand another one of those calls. How do you think I feel? I have to answer the phone all day at work. Just let it ring. I I'm just... almost finished getting dressed. I know it's one of those people again. I know how strongly I feel oh, about what? Gardner's residence? Those people who call friends. Mother, I'm on the phone. Yes! Yes, this is Pam Gardner. I I'm sorry, you must have the wrong number. Another one, right? It's to be expected. People are bullies. Expected? I expect to walk in my son's room and find him masturbating, not applying hormone cream to his nipples. What? I'm, I'm late. I have a date. Who are you going out with this time? Oh, I'm going out with Russell, and he likes me. Is he funny? Oh, yes, he's very sweet. Funny? Mom, we're getting to know each other. We're going out to dinner to talk. I think it's really nice that a man is finally interested in me as a woman. Is he a homosexual? I don't know. Is there something you'd like to tell me? No. There's the issue of preference. I can deal with that. Why do you keep bringing this up? Because we've never really had a discussion. Because of the way you try and lead our discussion. Oh, I've never tried to lead oh, you. Oh, you have to. This goes back to when I was 10, your sense of control. There are some things I can't control, like my son. Your son is dead. you be happy as a man. Maybe it's because you expected me to be like my father. That's what's wrong with that. I am totally different than he was. I'm my own person. Oh, you're different, all right. You're not the son I raised. You went mascara. So do you. But I know, because I'm a woman. So am I. Surgically. Oh, you are so insensitive. I would like to understand. I'm doing what I believe in. Do you believe in your family? Do you believe in me? Of course I do. Then what about all those threatening letters we keep finding in the mail? Mom, box? you're exaggerating. I am not doing anything wrong. This happens all the time. We can call the police. They can't do anything. We can't trace the phone Then guard. why don't we change our number? It's not that big of a deal. They are not going to harm you. Can it change where we live? Oh, get over it! Don't you smart talk to me. 
a young lady? See, I am a young lady. No, you're not! You're not! Then why are you wearing my blouse? I liked it. You have good taste as a woman. I'll admit that. Well, this goes beyond dressing as a woman. I'm happy the way I am now, and I don't have to hide anything. <laughs> Why couldn't you just dress like a woman? That's not a choice anymore. I know. I paid a lot of money for this operation. I think they look very real. They do look real. Do you want to touch one? No, 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 no. They're just as real as yours are. It's bad enough I have to see them every day. I see you peeking in the morning when I'm getting dressed. I do not. I bring you coffee every morning, like I have for the last 17 years. Why don't you just say it? You hate me. Oh, because I don't. Why don't you want to share your life with me? Because you close your mind. I'm trying. How's work going, for example? <laughs> great, great. I got a raise. Oh, how wonderful. How much are you making now? Enough. Something good happens in your life and you don't even want to share it with me? Does she know how indispensable you are in well, that Well, office? we talked about well, that. Well, you are cut out for much better things. I make six seventy-five an hour, Mother. I can't believe you live on that. Thanks God for your social security, right? Your father spent his whole life to make it possible. So I shouldn't even try? You have never lived up to our expectations. Well, the standard you set is some sort of insanity. Are you saying that I'm crazy? Let me tell you about stress factors and insanity, Mother. I deal with it every day at the office. I am not stressed. Are you calling your own mother insane? Your veins are popping out of your forehead, Mother. <laughs> no. When you get older, your skin gets thinner. You're not crazy, that's right. Just fine. The other day, I got a phone call from the manager of Food Mart. He says you were barking while you were buying pet food. Now, is that fine? I wasn't barking. Were you doing a taste test? I wasn't barking! I was imitating. I always wanted to be an actress. Well, maybe I should just get my own apartment. I can visit every day. And those people will come every day. Oh, pull yourself together. What about when they find out where you live? Then I will deal with it. I knew the risks before I got into this. At least I'll be in my own space, getting my own threats. I have aged 14 years in the last few minutes. Oh, you're just feeling sorry for yourself. And don't put this trip on me. Dr. Lyman says that all these little tactics you're using are guilt trips. As a matter of fact, I'm calling a rental agent tomorrow morning. Oh! Oh! This is too much! Oh! oh. Fine! Oh. Oh. There had better be something really wrong with you, mother! You want something, son? Yeah, in a minute. I'm just kind of looking around. Okay. I need to get a gun. For what purpose? My own use. Do you have any identification? Okay. Do I have to get this gun registered? Better believe it. Firearms are very serious. Each one of these guns is very special to me. Okay, Roman. You ever go hunting? Not yet. Well, my wife says if I go hunt one more time, she's going to leave me. I'll sure miss her. <laughs> I'm not married. Well, shouldn't get married if you're going to let your wife pussy whip you. <laughs> is there such a thing as a gun that doesn't need to be registered? Hmm. Why don't you take a look at this Colt 45? It was a favorite of Wild Bill Hickok. But I need something that really fires. Well, it fires all right. Packs more of a walk than a 38 Special. 
Say, you don't have any muscles. <laughs> I'm stronger than I look. Well, it's nice to have confidence. If you kick back on some of these pieces, and I'll call them pieces too, because they should be treated like works of art. I like the engraving on the cylinder. Hmm. Do you know how to load a percussion cap and ball revolver? No, I don't. No. Got a kit right here for making your own balls. You'll need balls. <laughs> Is that all I need? No. You also need some black powder and percussion caps. Don't you have any guns that just need bullets? Sure, but you need to get them registered. Be very careful with this. In fact, I'd like you to wash your hands first. Well, my hands are clean. The sink. I'm just concerned it. about no, my guns. No problem. No fingerprints. But I've got to touch it. Well, you'll touch it when I say you can. First of all, before I do anything, how do you plan on paying for this? This is a cash and carry outfit, you know. I will not touch plastic. I've been fucked over by people with credit cards. And I don't have to deal with that. What do you do for a living? Well, I think that's a bit of a personal question. I have to put this all on the file. Well, I'm out of work right now. Uh huh. But I've got some cash on hand. Okay. We'll just make a good weapon. Weapon? Son, we call them firearms here. Mm. The wooden handle is beautiful. Guns are like good horse, son. Black, sleek, hot, hard to handle. Smoke comes spiraling out of the tip. You wipe it off. Well, that's a real powerful image. Are you a poet? Oh, I dab one verse. But, guns are my life. What kind of grip you got? Grip of the gun is like the grip of a handshake. Gotta grab the butt of the gun and look down the side of the barrel. Say, your hand is shaking. Look, how much is this gun? Well, it's a hundred bucks for the gun, fifty for the ammo kit, forty for the percussion caps, and twenty-five for the black powder. Do you need a holster? I think I do. Well, you got that much cash? Let me look. Yeah, I've got it covered. All right. You want this gift wrap? <laughs> no, that's okay. Well, that's going to be $239, and I'll just own that holster for free. Sounds good. You know where to come back for more ammo now when you need it. I won't forget. <laughs> Can I sit down for a minute? Sure. Are you feeling all right? You need some coffee or something? No, that's all right. I'm just not feeling 100% today. Say, you're not one of them junkies, are you? No, I'm okay. I better go now. Thanks. Okay, well, you know where we are. Remember, bad day at Hutton's better than a good day at work. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you tomorrow about 3 p.m. Right, and remember to come a little early so you can fill out some intake information. <laughs> the address, 2424 24 K Street, and there's a gun shop out in front. Right. Yes, we accept Medi-Cal. Bye-bye. Poor Chloe. Poor Chloe. I hate to leave her alone. She has bowel problems, you know. I get so worried. I don't know what's keeping the doctor, but I'm sure she'll be with you in just a few moments. You know, the other day I had this friend over. He's gonna die soon. He doesn't know it, but I could see it in his face. Chloe could see it, too. I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't listen. Dr. Lyman's office is Pam speaking. I submitted that claim two months ago. Let me look. Okay, the diagnosis is 302.40. What else did you need? Dates of service. Okay. 31491, 41291, and 42991. Denied. Well, I was given verbal approval by one of your claims representatives in March. Well, of course I don't remember her name. Okay, I'll wait for your call. Bye-bye. I've been going to this group where a psychic from Haiti has been removing entities from people. He's taken 60 from me. Really? How interesting. <laughs> Dr. 
Dr. Lyman's office. This is Pam speaking. How can I help you? He channels these beans through himself, but sometimes you miss the people he takes out. Okay, can you hold, please? <laughs> Sixty souls is a lot. Plane crash, you know. I'm going to bring Chloe to the group to find her chakras. Uh, the doctor's with the patient right now. Can I take a message? Oh, do you think he would use Chloe for a sacrifice? Oh, poor Chloe. I hate to leave her alone. I'll have the dog to get right back to you then. Bye-bye. Is Chloe your dog? No! My cat! I hate dogs! The last dog I had tried to kill Chloe. I got rid of it. I gave it to the university. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Dr. Lyman's office. Well, what's the nature of your problem? Well, you need to be seen right away. Private pay? Well, it's 90 for the visit. Fine, fine. Um, no, I can't fit you in today, but I can squeeze you in tomorrow at 8. How do you spell that? Okay, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. I don't know how I'm going to afford this visit. I have to buy food. Well, don't you get Medi-Cal and food stamps? Not anymore, not since I started working. I earn enough to get off welfare, but I make the same amount I used to receive for free. Well, where do you work? At Newberry's. I don't need more. I got fired. Now the IRS is after me. Well, did you fill out your tax forms correct? I mean, did you pay any tax? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what'd you put down? Independence, no children, husband, you know. I had a child once, but they took it away. I have a picture of her. Would you like to see it? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> well, uh, the doctor does have a sliding scale. I think you should talk to her about it. Oh, hi, Holly. I'm sorry. I'm running a little late. Um, why don't you go on in and sit down? All right, doctor. So how are things going out here, Pam? Well, all right. I just got a call from someone at HealthNet, and they seem to have denied the claim on G.B. Walker. She, see that she said that she would talk to a claims representative and call us back. All this for $75? No, I don't think it's worth your time. If it all adds up. If you don't get paid, I don't get paid. Oh, look how assertive you are, Pam. That's good. Oh, yes, and I just remembered. The answering service decided that they just didn't feel like taking messages yesterday while I was away. I, I talked to a patient who, who I spoke with at lunch. I mean, that company, how rude. Why do you think we used them? Well, did you talk to Donna at the service? You know, she's an old friend of mine. No, but the operator I spoke with assured me that it wouldn't happen again. Good. Um, <laughs> could we go over the billing together on my next break? Sure. And, um... Let's not take any more new patients for a while. Now, I need to cut back on some of my hours starting next week. I'm taking an aerobics class every day at 2.30, and on Wednesdays I have couples counseling with my partner, Virginia, from 11 to 1. Okay, I'll clear your schedule. You know, I could show you some exercise, but there just isn't enough time in the day. Um, would you mind selling these tickets for a well-being seminar to any of the patients that are interested? I think there's 20 of them. They're $2 each. I'll just put the money in it envelope in your drawer. Oh, I also want you to help me pick out a new pattern for my business cards. Here's the medical arts magazine. Do you have a flyer or something for the seminar? Uh, yes. Here it is. Well, who's giving it? Virginia. She also teaches psychic healing on weekends. I didn't know she was a psychic. <laughs> well, she's not, but uh, she studies a lot. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh, I want you to look at this letter I received. Remember that patient, Claire Butler? There's a check in there. I want you to record in the receipt book. Okay. I have to go in with Holly now. I'll talk to you later. Dear Dr. Lai Man, you have a lot of nerd charging me for an appointment that I had previously canceled. I can't believe you consider yourself a psychotherapist. You introduce yourself to me, ask me to talk for an hour, schedule another appointment, and then send me a bill for not showing up. <laughs> you are the kind of doctor that people bring malpractice suits against. Here's your lousy money. I hope you rot in hell. Sincerely, Claire Butler. Hi, Pam. Hi, Dr. Lyman. Do I have any more appointments for today? 
Uh, you have a four o'clock, but you're clear till then. You know, I have had a scheduling nightmare this past week, and you're so busy, and right before Christmas. Mm. Well, the holidays are really hard on people. I know what you mean. They're just coming in from shopping, and they're just busy all over the place. Yeah. Um, let's see. What patients do I have? Well, you have um, Holly's coming back in again. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Dr. Lyman's office. No, no, she's not. Can I take a message? Okay. Okay. I'll give her the message. Thank God I screened these calls. That guy wanted to give a sperm donation. Oh, I should have told you. I've been expecting his call. What? Well, it's a business I've started on the side. Uh, FAG. Fertilization Alternatives Group. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Of course not. You know, I've already had my first request for a donor. Well, how often do they donate? Two or three times a month. Well, what do you do with uh, it? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, I schedule the donor and the recipient minutes apart. I mean, it should work out just fine. You know, that's how I got pregnant with Chelsea. Well, I wonder. Mm -hmm. Well, the guy who donated the sperm for Chelsea had a vasectomy, so he had his sperm frozen in a sperm bank. I mean, it should work quite as well, but Federal Express will be delivering it later today. You're going to have another child? Oh, I'm going to try. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> You. Well, this is quite a departure from your regular patients. Well, I need the diversion. I mean, I take my patients' problems home with me. You know that woman, Rochelle? Uh -huh. Sometimes I dream she gets pregnant with a psychopath. Mm -hmm. oh, God, the holidays are tough. Doctor, why are people so fucked up? Well, this is in the strictest confidence. But, um, I've come to the conclusion that the whole cause is the family. I mean, everyone who comes in here has some sort of family problems with the father. Either left them while they were growing up or sexually abused them. I mean, it goes crazy. It's always the father. Well, you know what I figure. Now, I'm not a PhD or anything, but in the time I've worked for you, i picked up a lot. And in fact, I, I use you as my role model. Really? Yes, because you're together. You're a woman of the 90s, and you've made a statement by being yourself. And you're not afraid to be who you are. But, but the point I'm getting to is, the 70s and the 80s were the grouping of the dysfunctional family. I mean, children coming to see you like Shannon, 20 years old. Oh, he hasn't given you any problems, has he? Well, not that I can't handle. Sometimes I just don't want to take him anymore. Well, we could refer him to Dr. Unwin. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I couldn't do that even to Martin. You know, I'm not really that together. I can't even remember to feed my cat. All right, you know. Oh, thank you. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm really helping him. I can see some improvement. Something's working. You know, when I was in college, I just thought I'd be treating middle-aged housewives and their petty problems, not people like this. Well, what kind of problems would you like to have most? Well, I like having people I can help, but I hate all their problems. See, I think it must be challenging to tackle some of the more disturbing cases, like Charisse. Which one is Cherise? Oh, tall, leggy, blonde, scars oh. on her face. I mean, yes. bitten by three pit bulls, get a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go jogging without a can of mace. Yeah, you know, Pam, have you ever thought about going back to school? I mean, sometimes you give me an insight I would have never gotten on my own. Uh, street savvy. Maybe, but why don't I think of those things? I mean, sometimes I feel so incompetent. I don't know if I can come in here and face these people with their problems day after day. I mean, maybe... I should be the receptionist, and you be the psychotherapist. Oh, I don't think so. Let's just switch. I mean, most of the people in here wouldn't even notice. They have to Take my glasses. Okay. And my coat. Oh, your coat? <laughs> well, do, do you want to sit behind my desk? Yes, I'd love to. You want to sit in my office? Oh, yeah. Yes, I can. Let me call you on the phone. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Lyman's office. Oh, this feels great! Do I have any appointments left today, Pam? You're all clear. You can go to your aerobics class. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mark? Are you there? Roman! 
what's going on? I did it. I finally did it. Did what? Okay, do you remember when I lived here before 1978? Yeah. Do you remember that fucker Gene Elliott? Yeah. We worked together at the plant, you remember? Uh-huh, yeah, he always called us ladies. That's right, yeah. that's right. Would you sit down? No, I'm too excited. All right, what about him? Well, I went to his house. I looked up his name in the phone books just to see if that asshole was still in town. He never left. Same fucker as ever. So I went to his house. You know, he got married. It looked like it. He was alone. I watched him for a while. Then I went to the door. So what happened? Well, I knocked on the door. He didn't even recognize me. And I pulled out my gun and blew him away. I shot him right through the chest. He didn't even close his eyes. I looked him right in the eyes and shot him. Oh, Jesus, Roman! What a rush. My heart's still pounding. Remember when he was arrested for raping that college student? He was a hero at work. I remember him calling my house, fucking with my parents. That's how my parents found out. I never told him, you know. I didn't have to. I was going to, but he called me, told him I was gay. Oh, whoa. It's like I never got a chance to sit down with him and talk about it face to face. He kept calling and told him. He went to his house and killed him? And his wife wasn't home or his kids? No. Nope. No one was ever him. I don't know, Roman. What about his kids? How long do you think they last with a father like that? They would have grown up just like him. You know how many times I wish my father would have been a role model for me? Or mine? You didn't know the guy! Oh, I knew him all right. No, you knew how he treated us! Man, I saw him at the playground, playing with his kids, hugging him. Something my father never did with me, and you killed him because of your problems. I would have been better off if someone had killed my father. I know you understand. You can't tell me how it felt like doing the same thing. Oh, gosh. At least I did something to make my life better. How did it make it better? I feel better. So what's going to happen when you wake up in the morning and you realize you're still sick, Roman? And nothing's helped you at all! Come on. How many times have we talked about doing something like this? All right, I've thought about it. We both always wanted to change things, but not by hurting anybody. Now you're just as bad as what's making you sick, man. It's not true. How can you say that after all you've been... Well, I hate to say this. Maybe you should die right now. Maybe I should. If you're going to spend the rest of your life getting revenge for something that happened years ago. Well, what about the things that happen every day? Oh. The little things that we both just choose to ignore. Like not getting helped in a store because of the way we look. Or someone hanging up the phone on you because of the sound of your voice. It's been ten years and people still don't get it. No amount of eroticizing safe sex, passing out condoms, or... Running ads in fashion magazines is stopping people from dying. It just makes the healthy ones feel better. The government spent half as much time, energy, and money fighting for a cure as they do fighting against testing condoms and... Come on! We would have a cure by now. I have no faith in the government that says women can't contract this disease. Surprise, everyone who's stricken doesn't try for one last laugh. You think it's funny? I can't talk to you anymore. You need help. Thank you for calling Alternatives for Mental Health. All of our lines are busy at this time, so please speak clearly and leave your name, area code, telephone number, and a brief message. Someone will get back to you as soon as our next line is available. Please indicate if this is an emergency or not, and the best time to call you back. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye.
start your message now. Hello, um, this is Robert. My phone number is 707-822-9979. I did something, I'm having second thoughts about it. I killed someone and I need to talk to somebody. This is an emergency, please call back soon. Hello? Hi, is this Robert? Yes. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm a crisis worker at Alternatives for Mental Health. I call because I need to talk to someone. Oh, would you mind if I recorded this conversation? What? Well, it'll help you later if I have a record of what we talked about. I guess it's all right. Well, you said on the message that you've killed someone? Well, I'm not sure I did the right thing. I talked to a friend about it. And what did they say? He told me I needed help. Well, I'm going to help you. I'm in pain. My head hurts. Oh. Can you prescribe some medicine? Why don't you tell me who you've killed? It felt like such a good idea. Nobody should go out with a whimper. What do you mean? I think everybody should take care of loose ends before they die if they can. Who was this person? Someone from my past. You know, I usually deal with sexual disorders. Listen, Dr. Ruth. I killed him. I didn't fuck him. Well, I'm sorry. I, I don't have very much experience in this. I, I only do it part-time. I'm a social work student and I work part-time, you know. I, I commute a lot of the time and I, and I haven't been getting very good grades. Poor thing. I thought my boss told me to come in at 7, but when I got here they said I wasn't supposed to start till 8. I didn't want to have to go home and come back, so I took your call. So here we are. A dying murderer talking to a part-time social work student with a low grade point average. <laughs> Great. Maybe I should go into fashion consultation. I have a good eye for color. Have you ever seen red? Well, I prefer pink. I didn't realize I was speaking of Barbie. Oh, God, I love Barbie. Oh, I have a collection of all the different styles. Oh, God, dance, magic, lights and lace, trendy teen, fancy frills, wet and wild, fresh and fun, and wedding there. Oh, and I also have Barbie's friends, Courtney Kiss, Christy, Skipper and Ken Mitch. Oh, God, and I even have a pink Sparkles fun phone. I've been collecting them for years. Isn't there a doctor on call? I need some medication. There's probably a house doctor at your hotel. How do you know where I'm calling from? Uh... Something's not right here. Did you call the police? My office is in Sacramento. I had to take the precaution. You're supposed to act like you care about me. And you're not even in the same county. Well, I do care. I'm very good with marital problems. Only this is a little bit different. It's a lot different, you idiot. Well, I wish I could be more help, but, but if you'll just stay on the line, I, I'm sure someone will be with you soon. Listen, I'm not going to wait around. Well, the doctor's not taking any new patients for a while, but if you call back in about a month, there might be an opening. Okay, bye-bye. you to notice, Holly. The doctor will be with you in a few minutes. <laughs> Recently, I've been losing some psychic fat. I've been taking these psychic baths. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. <laughs> hello, Dr. Lyman's office. Oh, hello, Mrs. Gardner. Oh, just a second. I'll transfer you to her. Uh, yes. It's your mother on the line. Okay, thank you, Pam. Hello, mother. I know this is a bad time, but I really need to see the doctor. Do you have an appointment? No, but I'll wait. Well, the doctor's booked up for the rest of the day, and Holly is her next appointment. I said I'd wait. Okay. What did you say your name was? Roman. Mm -hmm. Do we spell it for you? No, no, no. Just have a seat. I feel 
feel you have a closed heart. What? Something has caused you to harden your heart. What are you talking about? Have you ever tried numerology or had your biorhythms charted? Listen, Madam Catherine, I don't believe in fortune tellers. Ooh, you are filled with entities. Someone should take them out. <laughs> I need my angel cards. <laughs> I'm sorry about the medication, Mother, but I'll, I'll help you when I get home. Hello, Dr. Lyman's office. Pam speaking. How can I help you? You're not going to starve. The nurse will be there any time now, and she'll fix your lunch. Ask her to get you more ice. Well, you know, there's very little room for new patients. How are you planning on paying for this visit? Oh. This book has changed my life. Have you ever read <laughs> Ecstasy is a New Frequency? No. I'll pick up your prescription on the way home, Mother. Well, we could try that on a one-time basis only, and then we can see what kind of plans need to be made. Would you like to listen to my self-hypnosis tapes? <laughs> I'm not interested. Well, I could fit you in Monday at 8 a.m., is that all right? I might be a little late, Mother. There's a lot going on here today. Okay. Um, if you have to cancel, we need to know 24 hours in, in advance, or else you're charged the full amount. Understand? I've decided to run an ad in the personal column. <laughs> what I need for you to do is, see this? Just a second. You need to fill out the intake information. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, it's really inappropriate for you to just walk in the office like this. I don't care. I'm right on the edge and I need some medication. You had better let the doctor know I'm here, or I'm going to spoil your nice day. Just a minute. Um, we'll see you Monday at 8. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, yes? Can you come in here right away? I'll be right there. Mother, I've got to go. Okay, bye-bye. Hi, Pam. Uh, who's next? This is Roman. He doesn't have an appointment, but he needs to be seen right away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to sit in? No. Uh, don't worry, Roman. Pam is an intern of mine. <laughs> yeah. And no. everything will be kept in strictest confidence. No. Now calm down. First, you better fill out this history form before I can do anything. <laughs> you will be a blast through the mist and silence. Picnic among the daisies by a gurgling stream in the midday sun. Barefoot on the beach. The cry of gulls at sunset. Laughter and hugs by firelight. Girl wants boy. 20 to 45 to share the magic. Photo appreciated, but not necessary. Please reply to box 570, Arcata, California, 95521. Holly, Holly. Do you mind coming back in a few minutes? I have to be at a channeling session <laughs> half an hour. Roman, could you come back at, let's say, 3 o'clock? No, I can't wait. Hello. I need something to Dr. calm Lyman's me down. Talking. Now, okay, um, just relax and we're going to help you and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, bye bye. Where did that guy come from? I don't know, he just showed up. I mean, I think he's very dangerous. Did you see the gun? <laughs> <laughs> I'd better talk to him. We need to switch back. Are you sure? Yes! Okay. Yes. Here's your coat. Okay. Here's your glasses. What are you going to say to him? I don't know, but I don't think Holly will even notice. You look great. I'm going to refer you to mental health. The number is 4449321. Is this? I need to see the doctor. Well, you can see a doctor. The address is 740 Wood Street, about six blocks from here, just up G Street. You need to make a healing connection. Get the doctor back out here. I, uh, am the doctor. Pam and I were just having a little fun. You better be kidding. I'm sorry, it was just a cruel joke. I come here for help, and you two are playing what's my line? A fine example of the medical profession. Just say, I am Tantra. 
and let this become your new mantra. <laughs> this joke isn't funny. Look, I, I just don't have room for you. I'm not leaving. You see, each time you pull down and root your angelic presence deep within you, Pam, when you can let your voice ring out clearly, I am Tantra, then you'll know that your angel is activated within. And Roman? I'm going to help you. Put the gun down. Oh, let me get Hank! Come back here! You've spoiled my day. Now I'm going to spoil yours, Doctor. I want you to leave my office now. Use your imagination <laughs> to picture the highest healing path you can take to create a vision of why you're here. If you don't shut your hold, I'm going to shut it for you. If others express anger with you, do not let their negativity become part of your response. All the mind your chakra, you stanky goddess. You're not holding that gun for maximum penetration, sir. <laughs> Follow the instructions I gave you. Look, I don't have time for this nonsense. That fake bitch doesn't give me my pills. I'm going to blow all of you to the golden solar angels. Here, let me show you how to hold that firearm. Please, it's not worth it! Let me see. Who deserves it the most? Oh, keep me out of this sign. I'm your friend. But you sold me again. I didn't have to register. I just thought I was doing a fellow favor. <laughs> One favor deserves another. Roman, think about it. What good will all this do? It makes up for everyone else who died silently. I can understand your feeling of urgency. But believe me, there are people who care. This won't help. I am the great golden light which always surrounds you. Give me that gun. Give me gun. Give me gun. Give me gun. Give me gun. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Voodoo queen, bitch. after me. Wisdom is the ability to know when to act. Saying high loving words over and over raises your mind's vibrations. Here, son. Let me take a look at that gun. <laughs> 